But uh, she talked to you. You have, you know what? Can I can I give you a compliment? Please. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is real talk. Hey, this is real talk. You answer. As a guy who's kind of little, got the little, I have a little reciting hairline. I'm saying, you have phenomenal hair. <laughs> Your hair game is strong as fuck. Thank you, and I you, appreciate that. You blessed motherfucker. I, 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 I am, and I, yeah, I and I feel weird work. about it. Why you do it? You own it. I got a big. I ain't on it. My shit's really solid. It's solid. That's solid. Listen, I ain't Mandingo. My shit ain't 15 feet. <laughs> no, good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but, but I'm good. I'm good. Like I feel like you know, I, I get, I get, re, I, I call them, um, I call them uh, revisits. I get revisits. I don't have, a, I, don't, I really personally don't have a ton of one night stand. And I would imagine that's at least a small part of it. Nice. But not really a small part. It's a big, it's a big Ooh. part. Hey, 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 hey. hey rough crowd. No. Has a great day. <laughs> no, no, it, it, it's solid. It's solid. It's a solid day. I feel like my dick is solid. <laughs> so it's not a big day. It's just solid. No, it's, it's, it's solid. not humongous. It's a solid yeah, three and a half inches. They don't call me fucking Mandingo. They just call me Big Big Willie. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> Big Dick Willie. Big Dick Willie. Besides. All right. All right, buddy. Here we are. Episode 15. Damn, 15. It's 15. <laughs> I know. I know. I'm I'm proud of that. I don't know about you. I am proud. So, I don't know, 15 for, for the podcast. I don't know what this is for me then. Maybe seven, six? At least about half. Because I had two solos and... So I would say at least, at least six. At least six, okay, cool. Um, I am your host, Chris Cares Dunn. Chris Cares Dunn. This is my co-host, Matt Michael Jack. Matt Michael Jack, here with you, with Chris. Uh, first of all, let's talk about this. Let's talk about this, yes. How, why you just asked how to say my name, and I've been doing such a good job with yours. Right. What, what was that all about? Uh, you just have clearly more respect for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. That's fucked up. It is fucked up. I, I just know you as, I mean, I, I know you as Chris. Right? I mean, obviously. And then I fucked up your name on a, uh, a an episode we did a few whatever way back. And I said Christian Campbell. And you corrected me. Was it Kristen? Yeah, Kristen. Kristen Campbell. Like, like I said in the one, I feel like it'd be easier if, in, in my life. My life would have been easier had it been Christian. Because Christian is pretty guy. Right. Kristen. You ever met a girl Christian? <laughs> no. I don't think I have either. But I've met a lot of females named Kristen. I know. I know. My sister is a Kristen. How does she spell it? With a K. Like, how? how? K-R-I-S-T-E-N. Okay. Kristen. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm C-H-R-I-S-T-E-N. Yeah. Everyone pronounces it Christian though, but isn't Christian C H R I S T I A N? Yeah. So what is that all about? Lazy readers. Or just my, you know what? I, I'm a nice guy. You're a great guy. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm a nice fan. Guy. And I try to not judge people on things that they that they don't know about. For instance, like stupidity. Like if someone's stupid, I'm trying my hardest. The older I get, to say, ah, oh, you're just stupid. You say that to them, or you just think that in No, I no, no. Yeah, I think to myself. Like, yeah, that's yeah, all right. They're just stupid. Or I'm like, damn, like, like, for instance, being woke, and like, uh, hey, can you explain that to me? The being woke thing. Yeah. So like, it's I mean, I, I hear people say being woke, and I like it. Yeah. Like, I play along. Like, I know what they're talking about, but I don't know what this whole. You serious? I am serious. You literally don't know what it like means to be woke. No. Nah. Like, uh, in the know? Like, I mean, I could kind of piece it together, but... Oh, like, sorry, so do, do your best to piece it together. What does it mean to be woke? Just to be in the understanding, the knowing of what the fuck is going on, right? A, a court, uh, yeah, I guess, but I think it's more woke... Is this mean, like the old, like, old dad version of me trying to say what woke is? Am I, yeah, am I at that point? Yeah, it yeah. seemed like, uh, to me, I guess, again, it's your opinion, who the fuck am I? But to me, being woke means... Kristen Campbell. Yeah, well, just it's, 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 it's true. To me, being woke is thinking past what you have been taught based on the television, which is kind of a great segue. Boom. To why uh, 
<laughs> why what? Why are we winging this crazy shit right now? <laughs> I think it would have been better if we didn't say anything about it and just did the whole thing. No, I you know I can't do that. Honestly, I'm hot. It is hot. Plus, Plus we can't drink our drinks. And, and I'm like dying for a drink right now. Right. But uh, uh, we should explain why we have it on. Should we tell the truth or should we keep the joke going? Well, go ahead. Tell the truth. Here's the truth. Woke us all. <laughs> yeah. Here's the truth about why we're wearing this. Today, we had a plan to, well, we made the plan like last week to do it for today, to record the podcast tonight. Correct, correct. And so today, I just wanted to make sure, like, hey, we still good. I know motherfuckers out here dying and shit, supposedly, <laughs> and there's a whole fucking pandemic. We still on? Because, <laughs> like, if it's the apocalypse, I'll, I'll be honest. If there's an, a zombie apocalypse, I might want to get one last podcast there. Okay. Yeah, for sure. I'm going to be honest. One last. All right, this is it, you know. So I hit him I hit him up today. I hit you up today. You did. And then I was like, uh, yeah, let's just do this. You're like, yep, let's still do it. And then you said, you know what would be funny? If we came on the podcast so wearing fucking masks. And ironically, or coincidentally, I had some masks. And I had some gloves. And he had some gloves. <laughs> and it worked out perfect. So here we are. So I'm going to go ahead and take my number because I'm literally, it's like, like, I feel like when I take it off, it's going to be just heat. <laughs> like, it's it's going to feel good. Yeah, gonna feel I'm going to leave my gloves on, though. Well, that's a little weird. Well, I don't know about, <laughs> I don't know about your apartment, bro. Well, coronavirus. <laughs> that's right. All right. It's supposedly a real thing. I mean, it's a real thing. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to wear the gloves, too. Well, like, why not? <laughs> my hands are hot. I, personally, I actually like wearing latex gloves. I, I, I'm into some weird shit. I'm into, Are you now? Yeah, I'm into some weird shit. You okay. ever, little Vaseline. You ever done that? You ever wore like like those those latex uh, like body suits? No, Chris. I, <laughs> no, Chris. Do you I know what I'm talking say, about? I, where, where I know exactly what you're talking where about. Where you can't move, you just have like the you like stuck. <laughs> you're stuck in like a position because it's like airtight. Right. So, and, are you referring to like what you're visualizing right now? Is it from HBO's Real Sex episode? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but I feel like it might have been. Yeah, I think it was. And then you're just sitting there like this, but if you're like hot, it's like hot. I guess they get off of that. Right, I mean, but you have like a little, like a hole. Like, it's like, so yeah, it's like a, a breathing tube. A breathing tube. tube. Right. So you're good. But what, I, listen, I don't understand what's, what's cool about that sexually. Well, I don't know. Some people are into fucking each other while they're wearing... The furries. The furries. I was just thinking, that's a thing. I can't believe that's a thing. That's a thing, but like, I don't know. You ever seen anyone, anyone, not like sex, but just in general, have you ever seen people wear it, like... Yeah, I mean, I've been to amusement parks and carnivals and festivals, people are wearing that shit, but... Ne- never once has a has a carnival or mascot or whatever furry person walked by and I'm like, ooh. I'd like to so get me I actually that. know a little bit about this. <laughs> not not because of that. wait not not because I actually did it. Right? I think I want to put the mask back on. <laughs> this place is dirty. I used to work at, at a restaurant, and it was next door to a Westin. Oh okay. And then and it was like, it was like Where, a big, whereabouts? Uh, uh, Lincoln Lincolnshire or Wheeling. One it was okay. one of the two. Uh, it was the Westin. Aren't Wheeling. those not even near each other? No, no, they're like next door. Wheeling and Lincolnshire. Yeah. Really? Yep. Hmm. Okay. They're like, like right there, uh, Milwaukee Avenue. Anyway, so they would so and it are. I used to work at uh, it's Tilt to Kill now, or it was, but it was a claim jumper restaurant. You were Tilt to Kill, so it's all closed. That's what I'm saying. So it just closed recently, but claim jumper turned into kill, Tilt to Kill. Man, and, uh, both those fucking places were hot places. No, no, not that. Tilt to Kill. It was Twin Peaks. Same shit, but right. It's all the same. But I feel like Tilted Kilts have closed, and now it's Twin Peaks. You've seen There's got to be Tilted Kilts. I feel like I've seen one. You think that, sorry, you, you're saying that there's no more Tilted Kilts? Maybe not no more, but there's Definitely less than there were, yeah, okay. and, and a lot of them now. So we don't have to Google that. We don't have to Google that. Because you do, okay, because I Like you said, it's the same fucking concept. <laughs> it's the same shit. We got cold beer, and we got girls with boobs serving them to you. And nowadays, they don't even need the boobs. It's like not a thing. They don't need the boobs or booze. What'd you say? But both probably. No, no, definitely the booze. But okay. some of those girls don't necessarily have a huge breast. Right. No, it's just about being scantily clad. <laughs> oh, look, clad. I don't even. What does clad mean? I don't know. Dressed or worn? Hey Google. Hey Google. What does clad mean? 
On the website thesprucecrafts.com, they say, a clad coin is a coin that has multiple layers of metal in it. Most metal? current U.S. clad coins metal. consist of oh. an inner core of pure copper with outer layers of a nickel copper that alloy that looks like silver. Well, no, because I'm trying to look <laughs> metal. But yeah, I've heard the term scantily clad, and I just assume it may just provocatively dressed is how I would describe my interpretation of what... Well, Hooters was definitely tits driven. Yes, well, yeah, Hooters. And Twin Peaks, also to me... The name, yeah, I guess you would, you would presume. Tilted kilt doesn't necessarily, to me, imply big tits. It means short skirt. That's literally tilted. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think about it. I didn't even think about it. That's a real thing. And this is my contribution to the Cares Not To circle back around. <laughs> yes, please don't circle back before you too far. I was working in this, uh, this restaurant that the restaurant was in the parking lot of the hotel. Gotcha. And it was like a convention kind of hotel. So there'd be all kind of big ass shit going on. You're right. One weekend, it's like Saturday morning, I'm serving and then like, you know, I'm talking to like, a lot of people walking in the restaurant wearing these fucking dick. Like, can you imagine never knowing what that means? Like, what is all these people? Right? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Why is everyone wearing these fucking, these like animal that would, costumes? That would be a funny episode for something. Oh, it was hilarious. I'm sitting there like, what the fuck? Anyways, but I, you know, I, and we were all talking shit in the back. Like, look at these weird old, you know, they like, and, and I'll never forget, one table actually said something to me. He goes, I bet you're looking at us like we're weird, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, no, no, why don't you play it on there? You, I was like, no, no, are you kidding me? It's just a little interesting. It's interesting. It's, 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 it's not weird. I mean, but it was definitely weird as fuck. <laughs> and then he's like, I'll never forget this. He goes, well, no, 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 it's not, everyone says it's all sexual, but it's not. And that's what he did, and, I, and I've come to find out that he, for the most part, lied. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's it's I, I, I think it's a very overwhelming percentage of sex. I don't think it's 100% so, sexual. Okay, so what's the 2%? What, what do you think he was referring to when oh, he said man. it's not sexual? I, I mean, I guess you could just be into, like, some of those people who, who dress up as, like, the Star Wars shit. Real, real quick, though. When he when he said this to you, when he looked up at you from his seat and as you were serving him, he was, was wearing an outfit. But was he wearing the mask, the head? No, no, no. They, a lot, no, they, they all took their heads off. Oh, that's nice. Like a hundred percent of them took their heads off. Well, that's respectful, man. Yeah, but Cause I hate when people order shit through me or for, from me, whatever, when they're wearing sunglasses at really? a restaurant indoors. I guess yeah. Like, who are you? It's yeah, a little bit. I don't know why. Like salt bay. You, we talked about Salt Bay, right? We, I don't know if we did on air, but yeah, but we, we, we did talk about it. He wears glasses all the time. And I, all finally, the time. I finally saw him with all the glasses. I finally, he was like DJ Khaled. He was, he's, I was like, he's got no eyes. No, no, he actually has eyes. Oh. They're not cross-eyed either. I assume that he was probably cross-eyed. I got you. But he's not cross-eyed at all. So anyway, I would think, like, what's it called? Cosplay? Cos yeah, cosplay or cosplay. Yeah, something no, but see, I don't even know what that means. I just know that's a thing. I know it's like, same, same. And I just know like like what they what do. What is cosplay? That's good. Hey Google, what is cosplay? I love your hey Google. Hey Google. It reminds me of uh, Eddie Murphy's Murphy's. cosplay. A portmanteau of the words costume play is a performance art in which participants called cosplayers wear costumes and fashion accessories to represent a specific character. Got it. So that I think that there's a percentage of the furry should do that, but there is a percentage of a big to me a big percentage. Of furries fucking each other, they get into that part of it. It's not just the cosplay part. We we need to get a a, a furry on here. If there's any furries, no, no, that's like, that's great. How, how phenomenal would that be? That would be because I mean, like, I would have to set up the fucking three way thing. Not like, hey, 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 <laughs> hey, me, hey, me, hey, me, the furry. I'm in. I'm in the three. I'm the tower, buddy. I'd have to get my wife's permission. Oh, it's okay that we uh, clap because of the gloves. Because of the gloves, right? Yeah. Uh, you know, I haven't been shaking people's hands no more. Everyone's been shaking all the whole elbow. elbows. Is that that's kind of fucked up? It but, is it, but it's right. All right, you know what? So, so yeah. So the cosplay thing and the furries. I, I, would you try it? Wait, what? The furry thing? Would you put a costume on, like a big animal costume, to have intercourse? I mean, I don't feel the need to, but I, I mean, I'm like, I guess I'm not. A what if you, what if your lady was like, you know what? If if my lady was into it, I, I would do whatever my lady's into. What if she's like, 
I'm in the ser I'm in the service industry. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a I, I try to make people happy for a living. Okay, good point. Good you point. Know? I'm just saying. And, 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 and it definitely doesn't stop at my wife. I'll give you. I'll give. All right, I'll give you. Uh, and this is that. No disrespect. <laughs> Great. I love that. I love that there's a purpose with that. With all due respect. But <laughs> what if I mean this with all due respect. <laughs> the double. I can't wait when this is going. So you, you say if your wife's into it. Yeah. She goes, you know what? You know what would really turn me on? <laughs> tell me, Chris. What would my wife tell me that would really turn her on? I want you to be a cuck. <laughs> you have to talk about it. She goes, but you said on episode 15 that you would do anything. What's a cuck? Oh, you, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I know what you're saying, but like, describe. Maybe, maybe people listening right, right. don't know what you're saying. So to me, a cuck. <laughs> yeah. First of all, I love that word because it, it kind of hits. It hits. It, it kind of harsh pain. Cuck is like a like a man who's like a woman. <laughs> all right. Well, first of all, but, but not like physically, like you know, with the whole transgender thing. You know, be careful with that. Right. It's twenty twenty, bro. The pronouns and everything. We have an all gender bathroom. I, I yeah, you did say that. Yeah. You did say that. So which uh, do you go? Which one do you go into? Any of them. Well, because I go in the male. And I go in the all gender one because why not? The only one I stay out of is the women's bathroom. I mean, you should be allowed to go in there too. That's what I mean. <laughs> why well, should be allowed to go in the women's one? Yeah, why not? Well, it says women. I mean, what if you classify yourself as a woman? Well, then that would be different. <laughs> I'd be wearing heels. <laughs> no, no. Is that is that a pre is that a thing? Oh man, don't make me out to be a. The, <laughs> no, I'm totally you know, fuck you, man. Fuck you, man. <laughs> no. But I'm serious though. It's a podcast over. <laughs> no, I'm serious though. If if that's a thing, do you have to be dressed like a woman in order to say that you feel like a woman? Man, I don't know. So like Caitlyn Jenner, and I would hate or to Bruce. be in a position to like, like as a restaurant. I don't know. I hate to be in a position to have to discern that. You know what I mean on the spot. Yeah, and, and I, wow, it sucks that it feels like you think Brian, and that was his name, or am I not, maybe I shouldn't say it. The, oh yeah, I wouldn't. Oh. Yeah, no, John. Yeah. <laughs> John. <laughs> uh, John. I love John. John's a good guy. John's great. Guy. No, uh, do you think John would? Uh, the, did he want that on his doors? That he felt the need to, to have to to appease the. You know, you know what? I never even thought to ask. Yeah, why would you? And 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 honestly, so this this all gender bathroom that I'm referring to is in a, a separate part of the restaurant um, that we. It's almost like a banquet room, you know, for like larger parties or whatever. So it's like a. a so where's the men's and women? Is that the is that by those two by itself in the main? Yeah, in the main, and then oh. this other all gender bathroom is kind of in that private dining area. So I mean, that's a little different then. So it's almost like. You know, it just says all gender and like anyone that's at the party, it's just like, it, it, it basically means it's a single serving bathroom. One person at a time. One asshole at a time can sit on the seat. Mm, okay, so I, I remember there was a rec center by my house growing up that had a family bathroom or family locker room. Right, right, right. To me, I, I felt comfortable going in there. Right. But I, I never had a family. I wasn't, my family wasn't in there with me. Was, was I technically bogus? To me, family kind of felt like all gender, everybody's yeah, welcome. But not everyone needs to piss at the same time as a family. I know. I mean, how many times? I mean, I don't know. I got my wife and my son at my home. But there was also doors. We all pee together. That's a good point. But there was also doors of the bathroom part of the family locker room. So it'd be like, so you, you go, go in the family locker room, locker room and, and then, then there's the still women's bathroom, bathroom uh, and the men's bathroom? It was just or a bathroom. Stall. It was a stall. Gotcha. Right, yeah. So. The, I don't know, to me it's like the same principle, but I told you like at my job now. So if you were to go in the family bathroom with your family, and there's another family in there. It was big enough for more than one family, I feel like. So it was almost like a lot. But I mean like saying you're taking a shit next to someone's wife who's taking a shit. Is that weird? I mean, I mean people fucking furry costume. I, I, is it weird? I don't know. Way to circle back. Would you? <laughs> Chris Campbell tied it all wait, together, wait, folks. Wait, wait. Would you play battleships with another man's wife? <laughs> That's kind of fucked up. Battleships. B fifty seven. Is that a white girl, a white chicks reference? No. Wow. What, what was that? That was white chicks. 
No, that was not. It was uh, uh, Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. You sink my mental shit. You know what? You're right. Yeah, Harold and Kumar. Right. 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 It was like those European chicks. Yes, you're right. When they were on the college campus. Okay, but, but how about this? Let's circle back around and around. Around around. We're going. I don't... How, how serious do you think this coronavirus shit is? What is your take? This is a, like, for real. So, so how, how serious? I mean, I, I think the hysteria is serious. Mm -hmm. I think the virus itself, I mean, yes, it's contagious, it's easily contractable, but the actual virus itself is is less problematic than literal, literally the flu. I mean, th these are things you can look up and these are facts. Literally, literal facts. Right. Um, it does contract at a higher rate. You know, I, I learned that from somebody. But again, I mean, some of the, most of the, I don't have live television anymore. I stream everything. And if I want to look into something, I have to search it myself. The specific and, thing. Right, and I'm lazy, and I don't. Which, which kind of, sometimes, if you ask me, not to interrupt you, can be, it can be a problem. Because you're like, fuck. And then, like, sometimes you want to search something, don't know how to search for it. Right. And how do you search? I don't know. Sometimes how do you know what you actually are reading is... That, that's my, okay. I'm glad you said that. Oh, are you? In no way for production but, meeting. No, no, zero. zero. No, because I knew it would be too easy. Right. I'm like, this, we don't have to, and to be honest, I kind of want to trust that you don't need to. Because at the end of the day, I want a conversation. Right, no, and I get it. I so love, that is, that's what I love about it. That is the goal, ultimately. Because I'm, I'm someone that can get in my own head about shit. You know, if you were to tell me, like, hey, this is what I want to talk about, then I'm like, oh, uh, like, well, what does he want to say? What does he want to talk about? I need to know, I don't know. And then I start think, overthinking, overanalyzing. Right, so I think going forward, I might just bring the things up and just have you just add freelance. Yeah, yeah. If there's something specific, but like even tonight, I kind of had a feeling because the world's coming to a fucking end, supposedly. And we deal with the public a lot on a day to day basis. Oh, man. You know, so really, I mean. How often have you heard about it in passing at work? In passing? Like just over here, not someone speaking. All the to time. You. Everybody's talking about every fucking day. Like 100%? 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100
That's what I felt at that time. Now I'd be a little bit more like, damn, because now I kind of understand that personally that they would have people that love them and I'm like, okay, they, so if five people died, a lot more people are affected. affected. But at the time, I didn't think that, okay? And I remember thinking, and then was, this is right around the time when a movie called The Box came out. You ever heard of this? I don't, I don't, know, so. don't know who's in it. Maybe, uh, don't know who's in it. <laughs> I have no clue who's in it. Anyway, the, the, box, the premise of this, of this uh, movie was this guy came to this house in a couple with, an, with a deal and they were like struggling for money, they were having, it was tough and tough in life, da, 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 da. and some weirdo was like, hey, you guys need a million bucks? And they were like, yeah. And he's like, press this button, but if you press this button, one person on earth will die and you'll never know. Would you still press it? Okay, I kind of remember that. That's what the premise of this movie was. 2009. Oh, yeah, so you got a little bit of it. What's the information on it? Cameron Diaz. That's what I was trying to say. Her name. Yeah, there's something about Mary Chick was what I was trying to think. I know nobody else in this movie. But anyway, so the premise was, would you press the button? If you get a million dollars, but million some, bucks, random some rando on the planet, out of the eight billion, seven right, billion, right, right, right. would you press the button? And that was the question that was big in my mind at the time. Because me and my buddy have gone back and forth. And at one point, I was kind of like, yeah, I totally would. But then the rest, most of my life, I'm like, I totally wouldn't. But in that moment where I was looking over that balcony, I, I did not care. And not because I'm a piece of, I just, I can, I can see myself not caring. So, to circle back around to the conspiracy part, super conspiracy, this is all speculation, and this is, I can't prove nothing, this is my thoughts, thought experiment, you guys. The 9-11 thing, what if it was a way, the, the higher ups that be, what if they're the ones on the top of that banister, and we're just the ones at the bottom? Right. So what if the deal was, hey, we can make a lot of money because we're gonna go to wartime. We're gonna get. We're gonna. We're gonna make a lot of money. Eh, and then collateral damage. Twenty thousand people that you'll never know. You'll never see. We'll do a couple of things on television. We'll make a thing. Da, 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 da. It'll be a thing for a while. Then we'll get over it. People forget about it. But we're all fucking a trillion dollars rich. Would would people do that? I think. I think a lot of people would do that. Especially on that level. Because I think some people would press that button on that box for just one million for one person. Yeah. Especially you talk about your kids on the line. You threw me for a loop on this one, man. But yeah, I, I agree with you. Think about it. it it's you and your wife. And the only way that they're going to... Again, this is tough as fuck. And it's a serious question. But it's your wife and your kid. And you can actually put yourself in this situation because it's real. You guys are struggling bad. And you're about to start... You have to do something. And then all of a sudden this situation comes. You'll never know... One person has to die, and then you and your kid and your wife are good going forward. But how do I know that one person couldn't be my wife or my kid or me? So my, my again, that could be true. I mean, I but mean, the, I, that that's the surface, surface level thought. But I mean, like, I, but I, what, I, if the, how I, this? what if that was the rule? It won't be y'all. Y'all will be good. Man, my point is, so you would have point the one out of the six, seven billion. All, all I'm saying, it's a tough question, but I think some people. For sure, we'd say absolutely. Yeah, I think so. oh, obvi obviously, I think a vast majority of people would say absolutely. Would Especially say absolutely. with those dire situations. Would even say absolutely. I think another percentage of vast majority <laughs> would say absolutely not and would still do it. And, oh, there you go. You know what I mean? Because that's a tough... Especially when it comes to your livelihood and then your kid, and especially as a man, when it's your job to make it right, and then, man, one person, what if it's a bad person? Then you could talk to yourself, what if the one person that does it killed four kids? And yeah, well, them? If, if I knew that, it's a well, no, you right? Don't, you don't know that. That's well, right. No okay. idea about yeah, the I got you. See, I don't know if I could then. Right? Because they. But they, I mean, I would have to think long and hard about it. So at least you're being honest and saying that you at least think about it. And that's what I would have I, I fucking think I would have to. You would have to. As an honest individual talking to you yeah, right you now. Would, you would have to. Like, man, that. I'd be an asshole. I mean, I'd be. I'd be a liar if I said absolutely not, man. That is wrong, blah, right. blah, blah. And it is. And I know that. You know, as a, as a decent human being, I feel like you think I'm a decent human being. 100%. You know, like, but fuck. Like, mm, I mean, it could be a shitty person. Like, I don't know, but. You could totally talk yourself into that. I mean, you could say, again, if, you, if you're using the how whole much, world. How much time would you have to think about it? 
I, don't, I, I mean, that, that, movie, but I think it was like two or three days or something. Okay, so I think two or three days I'd, I'd come to a conclusion, and I think, I, I would hope and feel, sitting with you right now, thinking about a fictitious situation, that after two or three days prior on it, that I would ultimately not do it. Because Again, but are you putting yourself in a position that you and your like kid need it? That's what I'm saying. That's the part that's going to be hard to do. Because I think some... Well, then you know what? Like you were saying, in the primal sense, as a man or whatever, provider, this, that, or the other, and you need it... I think you'd be, it, it, you'd, it, it'd be a lot easier to press it. If it's me or them? If, if I'm well, that's not even you. No, no, not you. Because I think you personally would give yourself up for that situation. No, I'm totally. Saying. Absolutely. I'm talking about your kid and wife. But that's what I mean. If I'm talking about my family or just some right. random person, and if it was that kind of dire straits... You, you would have to like, strongly consider it. Could strongly consider it, but I, if it was that kind of bad thing, then I think, I'd, unfortunately or whatever, right? I think I would, just I would almost fair. have to. You would almost have to. I would almost have to. Because it's almost 50-50, it feels like. It's not 50 50, because would you, I would agree that I would imagine majority of people are good people. Would you say that? What percentage of human beings ever, not ever, now, are good, wholesome individuals that want the best? I, I would say more than 50%. What percentage? 51 or 92? <laughs> no, I know, it's tough, man. All right. Well, <laughs> such a great question. It, it's a, it is a great question. You're right. <laughs> so, so describe to me again what a good wholesome person. Yeah, is. what you're talking about exactly. What are the? I don't get too much detail, but like, I mean, what what are the parameters here within a person within who, reason? A person like yourself. <laughs> that's a just dude. That's a zero. Rate. That's percent. a lazy. <laughs> There's only one motherfucker like me, Chris. <laughs> All right, good point. Good I point. can't speak for all the mother guys. I think, I think, if I had to put a number on just in my belief, what a just a decent human being who fucks up sometimes, they do what they gotta do, but for the most part, they're they're always trying to do the right thing. And do it by doing the right thing, though, like maybe put someone else before themselves in a weird. Probably way. more often than not, I would say, like the person who lets most people go, if not all. Gotcha. The person, okay, how about this? Let's, let's make it, because that's a hard question. It's, it's a hard <laughs> question, that's so why I need a little clarification. So let's make it easier, but it's the same question. How many people who drive cars, what percentage, allows the person to go first before? They're trying to go right, and you're waiting Oh, there. see, that's a different question. There you go, so I feel like it's, <laughs> that, 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 that for me, I feel is lower than 50%. Wow, really? I do. And not dr dr drastically, but I mean, like, I would... No, I, really? I would start the over-under at 40%. I'm, I'm always the motherfucker. Who lets people go? Absolutely. Me too! Because I, I don't even want the drama of it. It's just like, just fucking go. Like, I'll wait the extra three seconds, and then I'll, I'll take my turn. But, it, like, I'm now, always... Are go. people always going because you are sometimes like, no, 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 you're going to go? Do you ever put yourself in a situation like, no, 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 no. So you, 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 like me and you, we're like, so at the same time. I, I feel like this should be a bit. <laughs> like, no, it is, I actually have a great idea for this. Right. <laughs> but I don't want to put it on here. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. But I actually have a great bit on that, actually. I just got to do it. <laughs> but yeah, but like, I have like a rule in my head. Like, if, like, if I get there first and I say go ahead and then they say go and I do one more of these, and then they do one more, then they're like, all right, well, fuck, now it's retarded. Like, <laughs> now I have to go. Um, now I'm going. <laughs> but you're, so your first thought is to be the guy who ultimately gives the right away. Absolutely. Right. Me too. And I think that, that, I don't know if that's the way I was brought up or if that's my lifetime in hospitality or whatever. Like, because, like, literally, it's an extra three to five seconds. Like, who gives a fuck? Like, I, I ain't got to be anywhere that fast at any time. Ever. <laughs> yeah. And if I need to be, I'll go. <laughs> you know? I, I keep it to me, it doesn't make sense that some people can be that way. Some people can say, no, nope, fuck you. It's me. <laughs> wait, wait. Even if they don't say, okay, even if someone doesn't say anything, I feel bad for them. I just stop. Like, I'll just, even if they don't even look. So, like, if I see the situation coming, where I'm like, okay, there's a red light. I'm coming up to someone, you know, I'm coming up to the situation where someone's about to leave a bank. Right. And I see that's gonna lead on me. I always leave the space, whether they see me or not. I'll let you go. Sometimes, if I'm feeling really anxious, I'm feeling really good. I'll let two people go. 
Right, like, even if I, and I'll get the beats from the back. They be beat, beat, I'm like, GVO, I'm like, good, good vibes over. That's yeah. what I'm saying, not. There you go. Like, Call the back. Because, you know what, like, they're paying it forward shit. I, I try to do that shit. I believe like, that. I, how often do you do that? Karma. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> I, and, and there's no science behind it. But I, there isn't, but I, but I believe in it, and I, I, I guess I practice it to a sense. But I, I don't know if I, if I practice it consciously or it's just because I, that's just how I feel about life. Um, but I do, if I, if I were to think about it on a certain level, that I feel like it does come back to, to you. Yeah. Oh. You know, like, I don't know. I, I feel like that I'm, I'm not a super religious person. I believe in whatever this, that, You might be a little more spiritual. Spiritual? That's, that's yeah, I don't, I'm not religious at all, but I'm definitely spiritual. Cause right. I mean, but, I, but I believe I've been blessed in my life with my... My circumstances, you know, you know, do I have a million dollar house? Absolutely fucking not. But am I comfortable? That, that might know? be a fucking curse. Do I go home to a woman every night that loves loves me that I love the fuck out of? Like who who might be willing to wear furry? You know, that might be guys talk furry. about it. You yeah, know, right. we're not gonna roll anything out. Christina, if you're into <laughs> podcasting, I'm down. I'll and, and, and and he also mentioned earlier. I don't know if you remember. Uh, you talked to him about him being a cuck. Oh yeah, we really not. We really didn't get back. Oh, we gotta play the back around. Cuck me? Do we? Do we? I don't know. Maybe we don't. Uh, to be, I don't know. The, don't I don't know the official definition of cuck, but I kind of just know what it means. Is there any words that you don't really know what it means, but you just know what it means? I mean, I'm sure there probably are. <laughs> okay. I mean, I can't think of an example right now. Like uh. Clad, scantily clad. Yeah, there want. you go. This is the same principle. Look, like, I knew what it meant, but so how? About, you know what? There's a way that I might be able to not have to say, "Hey Google," and I can't do it because my things. Hey Google, <laughs> what does it mean to be a cut? <laughs> On the website definitions.net, they say, "Cup, the United States liquid unit equal to eight fluid ounces." <laughs> I thought you said cup. Oh, P. Hey Google. According to the Urban Dictionary, what does it mean to be a cuck? Sorry, I don't have any information about that. Do you want to know what it means to cuck uh -oh, someone? I took the glove off. I took the glove off. She's getting All right, no, 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 no. I got to figure this out, though. C-U-C-K. Cuck. Yeah, because you started saying it was something like being a woman, but not being a woman. No, no, it's, it's a man. Well, I know it's a man. It's a man who's just, to me, when, when I call somebody a cuck, just like, like, like you're just a beta male. You're just a female beta. Like, you have feminine, you're a feminine human. But you're in a man's body. Yeah, well. Let's, let's find out. Cuck. I'm not in. I'm not into that. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> this is good. Wait, look at Cuck. That's a funny word. This is funny. All right, it's a noun. Clearly, clearly, <laughs> clearly. Um, a weak or servile man. Nope. <laughs> nope. Wait, but wait, there's more. <laughs> there's more. Parentheses often used as a contemptuous term for a man with moderate or progressive political view. What? I didn't know that part. I did not know that part. Often used as a contemptuous term. Is that how you say it? Am I saying it right? Contemptuous? Yeah. All right, term I think for so. it. Hold on. What does contemptuous mean? Here's the definition of contemptuous. Showing contempt, scornful. Okay, all right. Or um, a man whose wife is sexually unfaithful, a cuckold. Oh, I, I did not know that. <laughs> I, I, did I, you know that? I feel like I'm more confused by the definition than. Uh... Well, I do know like cuckold, like if, like on Pornhub, because I've clicked on cuckold before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what I've always remembered, I'm gonna put the gloves back on in case it is inside out. In inside out. Fuck it. <laughs> I mean, I already caught it anyway. Right, I, 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 now, now you're putting your coronavirus. I, 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 got I do have coronavirus. Literally. And this is not sponsored by Corona. It is not. <laughs> Poor Corona, man. Their stock is taking a hit. And and that, as has everybody's. No, nah, but theirs took a hit before it was a thing. Right. <laughs> they just put the name on it. That's why it's, I, and I think that's another part of the conspiracy. Now everyone's pushing.
pushing the, the what is it, COVID-19 or whatever? I, mean, I feel like I've been seeing that more in the last day or two. Right, because I feel like Corona was like, hey, man. Like, hey, you guys are fucking us big time. Right. Like, come on, you guys. Like, can we donate to somebody's <laughs> phone or something? And you guys call it something hey, else? Hey, I, I was down. All right, I'll take a hit for the team. But listen, we're broke. <laughs> and look, that's a running stupid joke, and I know I posted about it because I saw someone else's meme on it about the coronavirus. But people ask that. When they come to the bar, all the guys. Oh, yeah. Wait, let's do it. Hey, what do you want? You want to be the bartender or you want to be the customer? I'll be the bartender. All right. Uh, hi, bartender. How are you? I'm well, sir. And yourself? I'm excellent. May I have a beverage? You can have a beverage. What can I get you today? I would love a Corona. No problem. I'd love to get you a Corona. But, but, but what, sir? Hold the virus. <laughs> <laughs> Symptoms get any worse or whatever, you know, if anything changes, give us a call, come back. And then just assume the worst. Right. Right. But then they sent her home the same day, and then, you know, they, they sterilized that, that whatever, that room that she was in, and took some extra precautions because of whatever, because it is. But then everything was cool. But everything was. Yeah, it's, it's no different than the flu in the sense of whatever, you know, it's just, it's just another thing. Yeah, I actually saw some things came out today on like Newsweek. I think it was one of them. Yeah, Yahoo's, well, Yahoo was one of them today. I read this today. Two people who contracted it were like, no, nah, hey, we're good. We flu, we're good. Or we just had the flu like some dudes, everything's cool. I'm, I'm back on. Yeah, it's like a mild fever and discomfort. And like, it, it's a dry cough. A dry cough. It's a dry, I heard it's fatigue. I'm like, well, that's fucked up. I'm always tired. I'm always tired. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. This is all day. I've had coronavirus for the last yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you know, uh, this is way off, not off topic, but a little different. Coronavirus is on all the white saw games? Yes. I didn't, I didn't know that. In the, in the very beginning of all this, one of my one of the servers that I work with pointed that out to me. Because from the very beginning, I, I mean, I, and I got to give props to John at the place that I work at. Because from the very beginning when this thing came out, like we as a company were on top of it. As far as what we could do, extra, you know, 
I mean, sanitizing using wipes for, you know, every, every you know, common touch surface areas after, you know, every use, you know, this, that, the other. Like, we, we've been on the ball. I mean, we have very good practices regardless, otherwise, but, I mean, we've always taken those extra steps since the, and it's just increased since then. And, and, and I want to say this too, just so anybody who's weird about restaurants, as far as, like, like, the, like that, that diner, that shit you think of when you're, like, driving, down like on the interstate going to a different state and you stop at some shitty fucking diner and, and how they treat the food. You work at any kind of real nice restaurant, they're way more on top of that because of the rules. Absolutely. Like even like a small restaurant, because of the rules of the of the, the city or state or whatever, from what I know, the shit don't really go down. No. And all the restaurants, even the shittier ones, none of that none of that crazy shit goes down. Now that doesn't don't get me wrong. You could, there probably is times where washing hands, especially now, I feel like I can feel people washing their hands more. So I can argue, maybe, why aren't you washing hands that often all the time? Right. But as someone who also will still eat in these situations that I've seen this and felt this way, I don't think it's hideous for your health. No. And, and I think that there's, there's rules that they have in place, and people come and check them, and if you don't pass these tests, your shit's shut down, right? So I don't think people have to be too worried about restaurants that, that, that have adhere to the state rules. And I, I you said, well, everywhere in the state. But I would imagine some of these weird diners on the way to Vegas, like we stopped some of these gas stations. Oh, well, well, yeah. That's what I'm still, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's always sketchy places. <laughs> so, and, and because no one's checking them because, you know, but you, you, you live in any kind of place where there's a ton of people. You don't gotta worry about yeah, that heavy, shit. Heavy vicious. Chocolate. And and everyone's concerned about it. I mean it's a little Especially it's, now. It's it's like really on top of shit now. It totally. And and I think it's a threat I mean and I feel everyone's more on top of their game right now because everyone knows that because of the hysteria, not necessarily the the actual coronavirus or COVID nineteen virus or whatever itself is such problem is so problematic. But I think because of the hysteria, everyone is also taking extra precautions just to, you know, bypass that or just preventative whatever maintenance. You know what's weird to me? It's, here's what's weird to me. I, this hysteria thing, I think that it's more political. I think there's some political shit going on with this. And I'm not sure if you mentioned it already, but I really do believe that this is very unpopular opinion. It feels like an attack on Trump. The conspiracy in me says this. Especially this month and this the economy was doing pretty good and he's sitting here talking shit, you know, and then the powers that be, whatever. It, again, this is conspiracy and it sounds crazy. I'm probably crazy. I feel like Mel Gibson in that movie conspiracy. <laughs> but it feels as though somebody's trying to teach this motherfucker a lesson. Especially in this because right now he's gonna have like the worst numbers of ever president in a long time. As far as where the economy hits, I read somewhere today that because of this, it's fight, been the worst since '87. '87, right? Yeah, well, like, you're, but, he, but he's also the motherfucker that had the best gains since. since right, 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 right. I know, but it, it, it's not how you start; it's how you finish. Right, right. No, for sure. So for sure. And again, this is talking about to the non-woke, and we never got back to that. So I think, like, ooh, they can see. I'm, I'm getting mad at me. I said to look back around. Who are, man? What does it mean to be woke? Who are you? Yeah, I know. I'm learning. That corona is actually helping me out a little bit. <laughs> I, feel like I, got, I feel like I'm mute. I feel a little better. I feel like I'm mute. Uh, but no, no. So I, I, it feels like they're... It, it come, oh, so, for instance, Rudy Gobert, the guy from the NBA who caught it first. It's very coincidental or maybe ironic. Sometimes I get those two words... Me and my ex used to argue like, uh, to me they sit, they're like in the same ballpark of what they mean. To me, I agree with you. Right? Uh, irony and coincidence. Uh, it, I know the difference, but they, they're very it's similar. Flirt, it's flirtation. Yes, man. Yeah, they both are very flirt with each other. So, ironically, the first person to get it in the NBA was the first and only person to mock the fucking coronavirus. For those who do not know, I'm sure you've seen it by now, he was the player when the chick first got brought up and they were saying, w w there's going to be a situation where, uh, what, what is this situation where, no, it already happened. 
how do you feel about the fact that the reporters will no longer be in the locker rooms? And then that was the topic. As he's leaving, he touches all, he mockingly touches all the mics. Right. Like, ha, 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 you guys, we're not worried about, we're that. Not worried about it. And then he's the first motherfucker to get it. I'm just saying, you can't write that in a story. It just, because it would almost be too corny. If you wrote that in a movie script, that's almost too corny. How fucking it's too it. predictive. It's too predictive. Hmm. hmm. They think we're stupid. Would you agree with that? Would yes. You? Oh, yes. Because I think we're stupid. <laughs> I know they think we're stupid because I think we're stupid. I agree. As a whole. You know what I'm saying? As a whole. I'm just I'm like, oh, okay, well. It almost feels like. Hence the toilet paper being off the shelves. Hence the everything. Like everyone Did you buy the toilet paper? I, I haven't, but I feel that I have to. <laughs> Because it won't be them? Right. My wife today, like literally on my way here to, to, to do this podcast tonight, I called her because I worked all day today just checking in with her, whatever, blah, blah. She said she went shopping with her mom today because her mom was watching the kid, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but they went to like Trader Joe's and at Trader Joe's, like it was mass, mass hysteria. Like all the water, like water bottles were gone. Uh, it, was Black it was Black Friday for it sure. It was crazy. It was yeah. Black Friday for sure. They went from there, they went to Jewel, and like, same thing. Like, you know, like, shit's off the shelves. Like, canned vegetables, like, everyone's prepping for like a doomsday scenario. I don't, I'm not buying it. No, but because of that, though, I like, I almost feel <laughs> that, like. Yeah, you should go get some just in case. Right. I need just to, so you can wipe your ass? Eventually, right. I'm gonna need something to wipe my ass, right? And oh, I'm you, gonna, you, you give a bidet? You, you, you obviously have a bidet, no? No. <laughs> Kristen, I do not have a bidet. Wait, they I don't it. know what your perception is of white people in Cuba. <laughs> I thought all white people have bidets. I do not have a bidet. Is bidet like a bougie thing? Is that a bougie thing? It must be, man. Yeah. It used to be a thing. Everybody have you, ever, have you ever used a bidet? I mean, I sprinkle water on my ass, but I don't know. <laughs> I have got Like, from a bidet, though. Not from, I don't think I've ever actually used a bidet, but I have put my butt hole next to water that was running. <laughs> like, a, like a hose or <laughs> no? It was, it was it was like a, I was like a faucet. A faucet. I feel like I've done that. I don't, I don't know why. So what, what kind of faucet? <laughs> like a like a tub. Okay, okay. It's a Which is weird because I was like you know I'm so like, like, like put my butt. <laughs> That's so like you're related. You're related to the tub. And I just say, yeah. Just spread, you know, spread your cheeks. <laughs> no, I just spread them. I let it just go down my butt. You know. Bless me. <laughs> Bless me. Wait, let, let, let the water fall away. Hey, no, let no, it run me clean. No, no. But I, I feel like I have done that before, but nothing to the bidet. No. Huh? I don't think I can answer that question. So the only time I ever <laughs> used a bidet was on my my honeymoon night. <laughs> in the hotel we were staying at on our honeymoon night, they you had take a, a shit in it. You don't, you don't shit up a day. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, you can. No, you can't. <coughs> oh, you physically, you physically, like your butthole won't open on top of a bidet? No, I, I guess, no, yes. No, you physically, you can't okay. shit yeah. <laughs> But they don't have, the don't bidet. tell me what I can and cannot yeah. do. But bidets don't have the same drainage <coughs> as the toilet. Not right. So, so you, it would just, it's more like a turd. sink. Right. It'd be a turd just kicking it. Just rest forever. Exactly. <laughs> Until you pick the right. Back. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Uh, and I only use the bidet because I'm like, oh, this is a bidet. It's not even I used it right, but so what'd you do? <laughs> like, like, what was your thought process? So you're like, oh shit, a bidet, right? So I know what to do really. So I squatted over it, you know, and turned the water on. Was it was it like hot water or like <laughs> was it cold or hot? Man, I really don't remember. I, or was it like lukewarm? I would say lukewarm. <laughs> I guess like, like I don't because I, I, I don't remember it being too hot or too cold. It if you're real, man, you do a cold water bidet. It was just comfortable. <laughs> it was comfortable on my beehole. hole <laughs> No, I would want it cold. You want it? Well, you're a freak. <laughs> I know. Yeah, no, no, I tried no. doing those cold water. Man, fuck that, man. Like You did it for a week, right? For a week. And I'm like, nah, this is good. You know, some people take cold showers and some people don't. I get it. I some, get it. Right. I don't. So did you, so did you enjoy the bidet? Not, I, I didn't know if I was doing it right, so I don't think I did. I did not enjoy it. I would say. <laughs> like it was unenjoyable? <laughs> right. Like I just didn't know if I was doing it really. Like, it's like, all right, cool. I'm sprinkling water on my ass. And like, I don't know. What am I supposed to do? Did like, you did you feel, you didn't feel more fresh? <laughs> were you sure or were you unsure? You know, I, I probably did feel more fresh. 
I probably did. I said, you just cleaned my asshole. Like, you're, now that's actually a thing. That's a, that's a great point. So, like, we've talked about this yeah, before. On the podcast? I don't know if we've talked about it on the podcast, but uh, I know we've talked about it in life. I did. You know, you get, you get shit on your hand, you know, you're Well, I made a video about it. Right, you scrub it, whatever, but. You know, and some countries make fun of Americans because we don't do that. I, some people are like, yeah, you fuck Americans, it's disgusting. And we, we eat the most ass per capita in the world. Right. <laughs> Can you go? <laughs> Is that a thing? <laughs> what country eats the most ass per capita? <laughs> I guarantee to be American. You forgot to say hey Google. No, I know, because I knew I wasn't going to say hey because I already know. You'd be like, kid, I don't understand. So you no, no, no. fucking asshole. No, no, I really think the Americans eat the most ass. That's got to be a thing. At least, it's at least a running joke on social media. Is it? What? I'm not, I guess. People I'm eat ass. ass. Yeah, I know people eat ass. <laughs> eat ass. People love eating ass. <laughs> people love eating ass. I'll be honest. It ain't, it ain't gonna act like I ain't never like been close to the area. Well, of course, you're I, there and you go. Man. But I ain't never been like I want the butt. I want to eat the butt. I never thought that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's never the target. Uh, yeah, I, I never thought. Let me eat the butthole. Right. I've never, or, it's, or coll- like, it's collateral damage. Yeah, you know the taints. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'll, get close, you know, I'll get close. Depending on how much I like you. If I like you, I'll get close. If I don't like you, you'll, you'll, your taint will never see my tongue. Ever. It'll never happen. Unless you're really hot. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> you're exceptionally beautiful, you might get some taint action. But you definitely get no butthole action. That ain't going down. Huh. I got a buddy who loves butthole, too. I don't love butthole, but I'm not opposed. <laughs> Wait. All right, all right, do you? Ah, okay, let me, nope, I'm not going to go there. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna say I this. appreciate it. <laughs> I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. What percentage? <laughs> <laughs> Just go, Chris. Just go. Just go. What percentage of your encounters? <laughs> say it. Make it a personal. All right. <laughs> Sexually, has there been butthole play? In, including your own. Including your own. Well, if, if you know, or you know, I'm just saying, if it's in my arm, I say zero to five percent. So like, oh, so five percent maybe? Zero to five percent. So it technically could be five percent. That that's a high number to me. For me, I would think it'd be personally. But that, 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 that's for my butt. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's what I'm saying. No, okay, that's okay. Both your butt and wait. So there's a wait, wait, wait. wait. So just your, uh, <laughs> so just your, you know that's a thing. Supposedly, I've never tried it personally, but supposedly it's a thing. Like the, the male prostate, right, that makes you come hard as fuck. Supposedly. So my zero. You, you know about this? Yes, I know about this. <laughs> <laughs> well, do tell. <laughs> I'm, I'm almost I'm almost thirty nine. I've been in the service industry for for over twenty years. Yes, I know about it. No, 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 no. Do you personally know about it? People, you know, whatever. People, people, god damn it. No, I, I, I've never, I've always kind of scared clear. You know, the, the, the clear. dingleberries and shit, I'm always weird. No, I get that. You know, but certain times, you know, shit's all right. So, like, whatever. Like, I don't know. You, oh, you afraid. <laughs> you afraid. It's okay. Hey, I'm, I'm, a, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I'm, I'm a freak too. I, I, to be honest, my freak is way more freak. But that's uh, that, that's awesome. <laughs> Look, man. Like I said, zero to five percent. Like it's not something I'm about. But yeah, but in, in, in like a hundred years, I get well, hundred years. Right, right, yeah, but when people are curious and they're kind of, you know, in the heat of the moment, like I don't know, man. Like I never, I've always been like, nah. Shit is different in the heat of the moment. Li- literally. <laughs> Shit <laughs> is different in the heat. Pun intended. Oh, the <laughs> moment. <laughs> There's a lot of puns right there. But yeah, but not not not, not a fan. Yeah, you not can't. not a fan. Cause you're not a cuckold. God damn it. <laughs> no, you're not. Motherfucker. No, no, you're, you're not. not. But you're... not a fan, you know. But some people are like, yeah, little, this little, uh, not a fan, not a fan. But some motherfuckers. But yeah. but sometimes in the moment when they're like, let me let me try to like, yeah, give it a shot. Like, nah. Yeah, I, I maybe maybe personally. I never did it, man. I don't know. But 
I've definitely dabbled in a butthole. Well, I <laughs> I've definitely done that. Well, yeah. If, and if that's the percentage you're talking, yeah, about. That, that's what I'm saying. So both. All right. So let, let's knock out the one. Fair per- okay. Let's so knock out the non, one. Non-personal percentage. Yeah. Forget the personal percentage. Which is like point oh, for you maybe point five or maybe five percent. I mean, and, and you said yeah. zero to five. Well, because I, I was just doing it in a percentile of zero to five percent. Right, right, right. right. In, in, in percent, of course, in fit. absolutely. Percentages <laughs> of fits. Absolutely. I but agree. if you want to dial it down, we can dial it down. <laughs> no, 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 no. Zero yeah. to five. Let's just say Matt like he was about playing with five percent of the time. Or zero. Or zero. Or zero. <laughs> or zero. Or zero. Right, right. right. Or somewhere in between. So. But if you're playing with oh, another bottle, male or female. <laughs> Alright, we'll just say for the sake of argument, we are only talking about females. So I don't want to throw right, you so off. Are we talking about orally or both? Well, I, I think anal are, play. I think those are two different percentages. <laughs> we don't even know that me. <laughs> I don't even know that means. Because maybe orally, like you don't mind as much. You're back there. You're doing whatever. You know, okay, okay. Close to the area and just a little, 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 little All right, you know, right, spring, right. spring the action. I don't know. A little something, a little play. That's fine. I feel like I'm. little flick, little that, little this. But like, <laughs> as far as like penetrative, not a fan. Is that a word? It, it, it <laughs> I didn't know penetrative was. I mean, it makes sense. It I is right now. I think everyone listening to her knew exactly what you meant. It like is penetrative. Right yes. Um. If I get the green light, if someone says to me, "What did I want you to ask?" <laughs> no, that's fucked up. You know, <laughs> don't ask. But throughout my life, you know, <laughs> okay, if someone said like, "Hey, I want you this way. I want you here." You said, "Yes, ma'am." Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is it because it's taboo? Maybe it's taboo, and it's just uh, just the heat again, the heat of the moment. That's just like they never texted you like, "Hey, tonight when we meet up, I need you to do this." No. Anally. It, but it, it's never something I'm looking for because I don't care and I'm not, I'm not like I said, I'm not a fan normally. See, I, I agree. I have a buddy who loves it. Yeah, but it's a joke. What, what, what I love what I love is in the moment when they ask for it because then I just feel that's... Just put it in my fucking ass. Right, exactly. Yeah, you motherfucker, you Jesus Christ boom, looking motherfucker. Boom, ah, right? ah, fuck me, Jesus. Fuck <laughs> I'm talking about the whole conversation. No, 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 no. No, no, but no, but that's not what happened. No, no, come on. Come on, Mrs. Christ. Come on, Mrs. Christ wouldn't dig you that way. No, but 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 it's true. Alright, but let me bring you back to what happened. The reason I brought it up. I got a buddy, a very close friend of mine. That's all he ever talks about is butts. Yeah, and I didn't do that, man. Yeah, he's always like. Uh-huh. And that's cool, like, hey, whatever. Hey, 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 everyone hey, got their shit. You got a gender bathroom. I get it. We all got yeah. our own thing. But it's 2020, man. Like, you know what? I don't know. I've never been like. Me even, either. Even when I'm, okay, even when I'm doing my thing from the back, it's kind of there looking at you. It's looking at, hey, the one eyed bandit. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait. But, and I never even care at all, like, 0%. 0%. Unless <laughs> they say. Unless they say. Unless they say. If they ask for it, it's different. Yeah, yeah, if they ask, yeah. But I, I know personally, at least in the last couple years, it is, I'm not saying it's 0%. <laughs> I'll give it, like, honest, 4% of the time that has gotten action, not even penetration, penetrative, is that what the word you said? Play. Right. You know, fucking play, but not necessarily penetrative. But it's just not like it. And I got a buddy who loves it. That's all he ever talked about. That's all he ever talked about, ever. And he knows who it is. I know, and I'm not even pulling your name out there, because even though you don't give a fuck, he, he got, I should have put it out there, because he, he don't, he don't, no, I won't do it. No, 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 no. But he literally loves this. And when he, because he's going to come on the podcast, and he, he'll, I'll let him bring it up. Yeah, there you go. But, but it, to me, I don't know, never been a fan. Even when I was a fan, I wasn't going to be a fan because my buddy was a fucking weirdo. I'm like, maybe I should give it a shot. I'm like, nah, not a fan. Yeah, no. Uh, some, some females love it. Some do. Because I can't fathom how 
so to, to, go, to, to circle back, why are we about this up? The male prostate. Supposedly, we have that in us, and it's supposed to be more vicious than when we orgasm. Oh, I am happy to tell you that I don't know what. But have you ever heard this? I, I, yo, I have heard it certainly. I mean, it's got to be a reason. Okay, because right now, I think it's the movie Road Trip. <laughs> I think that's first, why I love it. Yeah. <laughs> it may be the last time. Right, right. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I really feel like that's something that um, I, I don't understand. Why would gay men have sex? Because personally, it seems like it would hurt. To the, it would, like, even just like when I think of bad shit, it like hurts. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, so why would you want to get this shit destroyed? <laughs> no, no, but but my point is to bring it to circle back. Once you get past that, it it might feel good because a lot of motherfuckers do it. How do you do it? Oh, man, a, lot, a lot of people do it. A lot of people do it. And some women claim that it's like the best. <laughs> like, and to me, it sounds awful. It sounds, it sounds, <laughs> doesn't it sound awful? It's, it's like the worst shit ever. It's, it's like there's nothing worse than Literally. The <laughs> worst shit ever. It, it sounds like the worst shit, literally, that you could ever can consider doing. Maybe, maybe you can stab me in the eye or something. That might be a little worse. Right. I'll, I'll ask you, would you rather oh. really get stabbed in the yes. eye? Yes. <laughs> Disease. I'll hold the virus. 
Sunday morning, man. Time change. Like what? Like eleven forty or? <laughs> Fuck! I wish, bro. Oh, that's like, like that's five like... five a.m. I woke up. On Monday? No, sun. Oh, Saturday. <laughs> what? Saturday, that sounds Sunday. crazy. Woke up, couldn't sleep, like whatever. Oh, you got a little one though. We do, but he was sleeping. <laughs> oh, just I, I just I just woke up and I'm just like fuck like what do I do here? I'm just sitting here. I was scrolling through Facebook, scrolling through like Amazon, fucking shopping shit. And, you know, I've been talking about, like, you know, with my wife, like, you know, I'm just, since we've been getting up early, I'm going to start working out, do start running or, you know, doing some shit at home, like, whatever. So I, I got up that day and I ran five miles. No bullshit, man. Five miles. 53 minutes, five miles. Got up and did it. That's so badass. I know you feel like a champ for, like, you start, you still feel like a champ. After the fact, yeah. During it, I no, was no, yeah, it's, it's, it's never good. The first two miles, I I thought I was I was going to die. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I thought I was going to die. I was hacking up shit. I was like well, spit. Spent... <laughs> I was like, it was bad. But then after that two miles, man, I was like, all right, I feel good, and I'm way too far away from my house. Like walk, I mean, I could walk home, but it would take so long. So you like, you think you ran about two and a half ish, and then. Ran it back and said, fuck it. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I set a thing on my, oh, okay. on my uh, app. Four or five miles. Was it, uh, what, what is the app? Just to give the app a shout out. Uh, Samsung. Samsung Health. <laughs> something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Samsung <laughs> Health. Sir, mm. sir, sir, go ahead and Google Play that shit. I use my fitness, uh, my fitness pal. They have something called Map My Rough. It's by uh, Under Armour. Anyone looking for an app that tracks. Where you went? Yeah. How fast? Get you all the fucking. No, stuff. yeah. The the Samsung Health app or whatever did the same thing, but yeah, it was what it was. This is they like shows you the actual route to. Oh yeah, shows you. That's what to exactly me. That's cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's cool though. From from my doorstep yeah. to to back to my doorstep. Yeah, yeah. I, that's so five miles, bro. Five miles, man. Have you ran since? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've been too sore. Okay, so you might have went a little too hard. I went. A little, I, it's been a while since I've ran. But you, you, you normally run good. Uh, so when I first met my wife, I, 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 don't I saw run. a picture the other day too. You, you don't even look the same. Oh, you the, kind of look like a little wigger. The youngins. The young, the youngins picture. Well, you look like a wigger. The, the sideways hurly hat. And like the the beard. You, the did you have like the little? It felt like your beard was like. Like Kevin Love when he was young. It was just wispy, man. That was, that was all I could grow up, bro. Yeah, but you looked like you looked like you had a little like urban in you. You looked like this guy new named Jananathan. That's his name, Jananathan. I, I can't even repronounce that. <laughs> Jananathan. He was a good guy. Jananathan. I think his real name was Scott, but we called him Jananathan. <laughs> Swear to God. Good guy. That, 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 is, guy. that is unnecessary. No, or really. Jonathan. Jonathan, great guy. But he had that like Kevin Love, like I felt like your picture. I, mean, I don't know why it probably doesn't happen, but like you had the skinny. This well, that that's all I could grow, and I just kept it tight like that back in that day. Yeah, you because you think you kind of keep your shit trimmed. You're a, you're a trimmer. I'm a trimmer. I try to be. You know, not all the time though. I mean, like usually in between haircuts, it's about six to eight weeks, and I don't do fuck. Because your shit's a little short today. Very short today. Yeah, you look you look weird. Yeah, no, I know. I'm sorry. I'm used to the Jesus Christ thing, and now you just look like Jesus' is no, fucking young brother. Yeah, yeah. I, I got hooked up with uh, my girl uh, uh, Kaylee yesterday. Uh, but uh, she talked to you. You you know what? Can I can I give you a compliment? Please. <laughs> what, what, hey, this is real talk. Yeah, hey, this is real talk. You in, sir? As a guy who's kind of losing, got the little. I have a little reciting hairline. Listen, you have phenomenal hair. Like, your hair game is strong as fuck. Thank you, and I you, appreciate that. You blessed motherfucker. I I, I, I am, and I yeah, and, and I feel grew, weird about it. Why you do it? You own it. I got a big I, thing. I ain't on it. I, 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 my shit's solid. It's solid. I, listen, I ain't Mandingo. My shit ain't fifteen feet. <laughs> no, good. <laughs> yeah, it's not every time you fucking have a heart. No, no, no. I mean, but but I'm good. I'm good. Like I feel like you know, I I get I get re I, I call them um I call them uh revisits. I get revisits. I don't have a I don't I really personally don't have a ton of one night stands. 
And I would imagine that's at least a small part of it. Nice. But not really a small part. It's a big, it's a big Ooh. part. Hey, 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 hey. hey, geez, rough crowd? No. Chris Campbell has a great day. <laughs> no, no, it, it, it's solid. It's it, solid. It's a solid day. I feel like my dick is solid. But, so it's not a big day, it's just a solid. No, it's, a it's solid, not humongous. It's a solid yeah, three and a half inches. They don't call me fucking Mandingo, they just call me Big Big Willie. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> Big Big Willie. Big Big Willie. Oh, on a different topic, but on the same topic. Is it racist? Oh, you know what? No, no, no. Let's get serious for a second. Hold on, we get a little long, but fuck it. We're good. I asked, I asked the Eric this last episode. Well, at least this is how it, what it got to. I want your opinion. Is a white person racist if they see some racist shit going on in their circle and say nothing? What is the racist shit going on? Racist shit. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Thank you. Thank you for the clarification. I, you, you, I feel like how you answer the question will determine what you think racist shit is. So, okay. So you're at, I'll, I'll get the, make, make it the situation easier. Yeah, you're just, at dinner. Just, no, 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 just, just repeat the question. Is a white person racist if they see some racist shit go down and do absolutely nothing? Yes. See, I don't agree with that. I ended up saying, and I believe this, that a, a person, a white person could see some shit, or anybody for this matter, could see some racist shit going on against another type of people and their people are doing the racist shit and they say nothing that doesn't necessarily make you a racist definitely makes you a pussy though it means you're not standing up for it, it, it uh, okay and, and I agree with you there but that's what I kind of feel is what I'm thinking is as a racist there you go right I feel like I don't want to be a racist or a pussy so I would I would rather say something right you know but that's me personally and I, and I think there's a lot. I see some racist shit going on. I would want to address it, or you know, whatever, or you know, whatever, whatever the situation is at the moment, handle it in that moment, and whatever. Well, I had an ex. It's the reason this guy brought up. I had an ex back in the day, Bridget. Steve podcast. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> but uh, it, it's weird because I don't really bring her up around the area, but I do around you. That's weird. Maybe I see the skin, and it's like similar. What's that? Oh, is that racist? <laughs> so the, the reason I brought this up is okay. Now we're completely lost. But uh, Joe Rogan said if if someone said he took the joke, he made a joke to someone, and someone said, "Tell me a joke." He goes, two Jews walk into a bar, they buy it." That was the joke. But I'm bummed. And someone goes, that's racist. And he goes, how is that racist? It might be stereotypical, but it's not. And how is that racist? It's like, they're fucking, they're good at, they're fucking good at buying shit and they bought it. Like, right. And I kind of agree with that. I, it's stereotypical. And then he was like, well, some, some stereotypes are positive. And then he mentioned like, like blacks having big dicks is a stereotype amongst black men. And what men is going to be mad at that stereotype. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. That's what, <laughs> hey, it is what it is. You know? But my point is, is that just because it goes against the grain doesn't necessarily make it a racist comment or it might be stereotypical, but sometimes stereotypes are not. Like, I would say a stereotype of, uh, does it have to be racial if it's a stereotype? Well, I think that's what we're kind of figuring out. No, right? oh, yeah, yeah, okay, so for instance, to, to say women tend to be more emotional, would that be a stereotype of women? Yes. Right, but I don't, I, don't, I don't think anyone disagrees with that. I don't think anyone I've ever met disagrees that women, as a whole, tend to be more emotional overall, more so than men. Most people will agree with that. I agree. In my I existence. agree that most people would agree with that as well. I, I think that there's, like, there's definitely dudes out here who are way more emotional than, you know, and there's of some course, females course, that are super, like, lobby. So I get it. So I, those are outliers. 
but the overwhelming majority, at least in my life and in my existence, that's why they call it, that's why they call it behavioral sciences, man, behavioral studies, because people tend to act the same way. We all, I know we all feel individualized, and, and to a degree we are, I do believe that, but at the end of the day, we're not. We kind of all typically do the same shit for the most part. Right. You see what I'm saying? No, Hence, with this whole hysteria shit going on, with everyone, I was like, you know what, I gotta use a toilet paper. They're like, we got hit by the like 78 roll. I haven't done toilet paper for two years in this bitch. <laughs> and I felt stupid doing it, but I was like, I got to. You admitted that you might have to. Now, right. you, there's some logical, economical reasons because you, you might not be able to wipe your ass in two weeks. But at the end of the day, you're going to just fall in line. You just got to do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you could not, You could just use a washcloth, wipe your ass. <laughs> you just, you just, 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 I got to go buy a washcloth. <laughs> okay, you don't got no washcloth. First of all, do you use washcloths? No. <laughs> I don't either. But the way he said it was funny. We, we, we have hand towels. Hey, what, the fuck is, towels. Hey, what the fuck is a hand towel? That must be some white shit. No. Blacks use washcloths and big towels. <laughs> big towels. <laughs> so a big towel. I guess you know, <laughs> the big towels. Or it would just be a towel. <laughs> That's what we use for showers. Hey, hey, hey hand me the big towel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as always, cheers! cheers.